In this lesson, we're going to look at writing the recursive formula for an arithmetic sequence. And so your essential question today is explain how to write the recursive formula of an arithmetic sequence. Okay. So what I want you to think about is I want you to think about what the word recursive means or what recursion means. Um, recursive just means that we're applying it one after the other. And so the recursive rule is a little bit different than the explicit rule. It's basically just telling us what the pattern is. And so with the recursive rule for arithmetic sequences, we have to be given the first term. We have to be given a sub 1, or we have to be able to determine what a sub 1 is. And then we would state a sub 1, and then we would state the recursive rule. a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 plus d. The a sub n is just saying take the previous term and add or subtract the common difference. So don't let this terminology throw you. It's just saying take the previous term. If I wanted to find the 23rd term, I would look at the term before it, 22, and apply my recursive process. So it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more difficult. You have to know the previous term to be able to figure out the next term. So look at the first example. It says write a recursive rule for the nth term of a sequence, then find a sub 19. So the first thing we're going to want to do is find out our common difference. Um, every time here we are adding 6, so that is our common difference. Okay, so all we have to do now is state what a sub 1 is. a sub 1 is equal to 7. Then we write a sub n equals a sub n minus 1, and then the common difference was plus d. One thing I want to point out is because we'll talk about other types of sequences later in the year, is that with an arithmetic sequence, it's always plus or minus something. We're always adding something or subtracting something to a sub n minus 1. That's one way to tell how it would be um, arithmetic. Okay, so then I want to find a sub 19, and I'm going to actually throw myself. So we know that, let's see, we're at 1, 2, 3, the fourth term, and we have to go all the way to 19. We should be able to see that the pattern is adding 6, so how many terms is that between 4 and 19? That's 15, right? So if I have 15 terms and I'm adding 6 each time, could I do 15 times 6? Which is, what, 90? No, 80? 90. 90. And then could I add 90 to 25? I sure could. So 25, the last term, plus the common difference of 6 every time, is going to give me that a sub 19 is 115. Okay. Okay, look at the next one. First thing we want to do is find the pattern. The pattern is that we are subtracting 4 every time. So we're going to state a sub 1 equals 30. And then we say a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 minus 4 this time. Okay, so we already said we're trying to go to the 19th term. That's 15. 15 times negative 4 is negative 60. So what is 18 minus 60? That would be negative 42. A sub 19 would be negative 42. Okay, let's look at the next one. Given the first term and recursive formula, find the first four terms in the sequence. So I'm going to make it a little bit easier on you. The first term is 8. 
We should notice that the common difference is plus 4. That's where the D goes. So if the first term is 8, we add 4 and we get 12. We add another 4, we get 16. We add 20. And there's the first four terms of the sequence. Super, a lot easier, right? Okay, look at the next one. First term is negative 4. The common difference this time is negative 6. So now I'm subtracting 6. So negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10. Minus 6 is negative 16. Minus 6 is negative 22. Okay, the last two things on your notes here I want you to do for yourself. Okay, and we're going to talk about them in class tomorrow.